What is going on? This is Altoon, and this is just awesome. So this is my ER6 um, Express LRS receiver. This is a six channel receiver, and it has two antennas on it, as you can see. And I think this is gonna be great because this is the receiver that I'm gonna be placing in all of my models moving forward. It has six channels as stated, and a battery. So if you're gonna be using it in something that does not have an ESC, you can provide battery power to this channel and to, to power up the receiver. You can also use that if you're gonna do, you know, be using it to do some configuration and whatnot to the receiver and you're not connecting a ESC, you can just use that battery in order to connect it. One of the things that I absolutely love about it, of course, is Express LRS allows you to use binding phrases, and that's what I'm going to be using with my radio to be able to use the binding phrase in order to actually bind it to my radio. So it's just going to be bound up, and it's just making it a whole lot easier. You can use a traditional binding method, um, if you're familiar with that, in order to bind this guy up to your radio. but there's nothing like using a binding phrase. I think that makes things so much easier, especially for beginners. And so you do have a CRSF connection here, which allow you to use a dongle to flash with the, the latest firmware version, as well as your binding phrase and all of that kind of stuff, do the configurations that you want to to it. And then you have another connector here, which is for your VBAT power from the aircraft. So you can connect this and it actually comes with the wire, which I think is fantastic. And it's got a little bit of length to it. It's a good, you know, six inches or so. You can connect this, plug it in here, and it's going to give you your voltage through your telemetry on your radio, back, back to your radio from the receiver, which is fantastic because I have been setting up timers to make sure I didn't run my battery out. This one, I may still do timers, but this will allow me to be able to check my voltage as well while the plane is in the air and be able to get that information back to my radio. And I love the fact that it actually comes with the cable so you don't have to make one, it's already there. It does come with two additional cables, a CRSF cable here and another one and these cables can be used if you're going to like um, use your connection here in order to be able to connect it to like a, a, a gyro. I've got a um, Hobby Eagle A3 Super 4 that I'm going to be using in at least one of my aircraft. And this is going to allow me to be able to connect to that. And I love it because even with, a, with using a gyro, it's actually possibly going to free up some additional channels so that I can get additional functions on the aircraft as I'm flying it. I'm going to be playing around with that to see how well that works, but I'm pretty sure that that's going to work for me as well. So thank you so much for coming by and checking this guy out with me. I really appreciate it. Have an absolutely fantastic day and I look forward to seeing you again very, very soon.